Hey guys, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share the content. The topic for today is about exocrine glands. There are many other topics on the playlist linked below in the description. So you can go there and check once. All those are must know topics for neat PG and NSET. So coming to the topic proper of today, which is exocrine glands. Exocrine glands have their secretions packed in the membrane bound vesicles, whereas endocrine glands secrete them directly into the connective tissue and from there into the circulation. So the examples of exocrine glands are merocrine, apocrine, holocrine and eccrine. Eccrine gland was previously classified separately but now it is included under merocrine itself. So there are in total three glands that you need to learn, merocrine, apocrine and holocrine. Now let us discuss about the individual glands and the secretions. So all these glands have membrane bound vesicles in them. So the cell has membrane bound vesicle with the secretions in it and it comes towards the cell surface and the secretions are secreted out in meropene glands whereas in the apocrine glands a part of the cell gets pinched off remember it like AP is a part a part of the cell gets pinched off in apocrine glands coming to the holocrine glands whole cell gets disintegrated to secrete its contents out so remember it as whole for holocrine gland whole cell gets disintegrated now coming to the examples meropene glands has salivary glands pancreatic glands and eccrine sweat glands as already discussed, eccrine glands are no more under the separate classification, so now they come under meropene glands. Coming to apocrine glands, the examples goes like MAP, M-A-P, M for mammary gland, A for axillary sweat gland, and P for perineal gland, mons pubis, and periumbilical glands. Coming to the holocrine glands, holocrine glands have M-N in their name. So, mebomian has MN, Montgomery has MN, and ceruminous glands of external auditory canal has MN in their names. Sweat glands are of two types, right? Eccrine and axillary. Eccrine is coming under merocrine and axillary is under apocrine. Remember that point. Since there are two types of sweat glands, let us discuss about them in detail. So, eccrine and apocrine. Eccrine spelling has CC in it. So, it is cholinergic postsympathetic neurons. Whereas apocrine is for A, adrenergic postganglionic sympathetic neurons. Eccrine glands maintains the temperature, whereas apocrine glands is for peculiar order of the sweat. So everything is P in apocrine glands. Apocrine spelling has P and it is more active in puberty. It gives peculiar order to the sweat. Whereas activity of eccrine sweat glands is throughout the life. And the secretions of eccrine sweat glands are watery with salts. And in apocrine glands, it is again P that is proteins and lipids. When we talk about the milk, milk has a composition of casein and lipids, right? So casein is secreted in menocrine manner, whereas lipids in apocrine manner. So E is highlighted in casein, E for merocrine, and lipids is P that is apocrine. When they ask you a question about mammary gland type, then your answer should be apocrine. But when they ask a question about secretion of milk, then it is mero plus apocrine gland. Clinical correlation here from Dermat is three diseases, hydradenitis superativa, fox for spots or apocrine miliaria. It is in the axillary sweat gland. So remember fox for has X in it. So axillary has X in it. Whereas another similar term is for spots. Do not confuse it with fox for spots. So for spots occurs most commonly on the vermilion border of the upper lip. It is from the sebaceous glands. So here is the summary of the three pictures. Fox forty spots, which is apocrine miliaria, which is in the axilla, that is the armpit, X for X, whereas hydradenitis superativa is like acne like lesions which are pouring out. And the third one is four day spots or granules, which are most common in the vermilion border of the upper lip, as shown in the picture. So these three are the clinical correlations that you need to know from this topic. Thank you.